Something, something which is amazing with tennis is that it's a battle uh, against another person. And um, that's very interesting because um, our brain is made in a way like our uh, archaic brain, like the brain of the pre prehistorical human who were hunting or were exposed to dangers in the nature as a tendency to um, to select and to um, to emphasize on uh, on the negative rather than on the positive it's something which is normal in the nature because if there is a, a lion running after you you have to remember it that's why you have like a kind of scar a, a kind of um, uh, something which is marked in your brain like a um, uh, in English, uh, a trauma. Mm. Uh, you know, when something bad happened to you, like you burn your hand one time, then you will remember forever because the pain is so terrible that it it marks you for life, mm -hmm. and then you will not put your your hand in a fire again. So uh, naturally, our brain is was um, has been selecting a lot the, neg the negative, these things, to avoid dangers. And when some scientific has shown that, that when you play tennis or maybe other sports like boxing or opposition sports, like maybe fencing or uh, jujitsu or this kind of uh, sports, um, you, um, you have thousands of negative ideas who pop, out, pop up mm -hmm. in your brain while you are playing so you know most of the time the players they always emphasize on the negative oh i miss that oh my back end is out oh, i i i didn't do well they are not able to see the positive at all mm -hmm. so out when during a tennis match there are about thousands of negative ideas who arise in your brain and you have to deal with that mm. And um, that, that, and you're alone. You don't have a coach to tell you what to do, how to behave. Mm, yeah, that's another. That's not a very rare aspect. Of you have to tennis. deal with it alone. Mm. Yeah, that's why tennis is. Uh, uh, they are talking. The, the tennis player. Most of the time, you can hear them. They are talking to each other. They are talking to themselves. Loudly. I heard that. I, I heard. I read. Lot. One, I read one time that every tennis player talks to themselves. Everybody, yes, everybody, all the time. Why? <laughs> to, to refocus. I think that just to, it's a strategy to avoid to. It's a survive. It's the way to survive. You you want to. It, it it's too difficult to handle. Hmm. All, all this this idea. Will, pop up or too difficult to, to handle. So you need to exteriorize. You need to, to re uh, relief, to release the tension. Hmm. So you shout, you talk to yourself. You... And it's forbidden to talk to anyone else. So you have to, to deal with it alone. So yeah, 